Now we are going to create a product. First, you must create a department that the product belongs under. Do this by selecting Inventory in the menu and then the Departments tab, and select New Department on the top right, and then input the department name in the field. You may also add a department description. Activate the department so it goes live. Click Done to save. Next, we must create the category that the product falls under by selecting the Categories tab and then selecting New Category on the top right. Enter the category name and short name. Select the category display color that will fill up the category box in POS, select the department that the category is a part of, and then activate the category so it appears in POS. The category will now appear in our category list to access at any time. Now let's create a product. Start by selecting the products tab in the menu and then select new item on the top right. The first tab that appears is a general tab. Here, you can select whether your product is an inventory, non-inventory, or serialized item. For this product, choose inventory. Next, input the name of the product, the product display color that will fill up the product box in POS, enter a product description, choose a product's department and category, enter the product's unique UPC code, and make sure that the product is activated. You can also add a product image that will appear in the product box in POS. Choose Browse Images and then select the image from your files. Next, scroll up and choose the Pricing tab. In the Price Type field, select whether you would like the product to be at a fixed price or one that could be manually entered for each order in POS. In the Unit field, select the unit of measurement the product will be sold in. If you selected Fixed as a price type, input the price of the item for the unit of measurement selected in the Sales Price field. Next, in the Modifiers tab, you can choose to add modifiers to the product. To do this automatically, select Copy Existing to copy an existing modifier group that was previously created in the Modifiers section of the Inventory menu. You can also add them to the product manually by selecting Add Modifier Group. Enter the modifier group name, select from one of the modifier type options, and input the individual modifier names along with the additional cost of the modifier to the original sales price set in the pricing tab. Select Add a modifier to add more modifiers to the modifier group. Next, go to the Vendors tab, where you can assign vendors to the product. If the vendor is not yet created, you must first select New Vendor. Now, Enter the vendor name and select the type of vendor. When you are done editing, select Done and you will be returned to the Products Vendor tab. Now you can select the vendor you just created in the Search Vendors dropdown. Input the unique vendor SKU and the amount the item costs to acquire from the vendor. In the Ordering tab, you can set the recommended quantity and minimum quantity of the product that you would like in your stores. You can also view the current total quantity of the product in all of your stores in the Quantity field. Finally, in the Taxes tab, add taxes that have been created in the Tax Manager to the product by selecting the plus sign. The tax will be added to the price of the item automatically in POS. This product tax will override any taxes you set in the company or store settings. When you are done editing the product info, Select Done to save changes. The product then appears in the product list.